Hello again today YouTube. This is Charlie, House Call Auto Repair. Today we're working on a 2015 Honda Civic. We're going to be replacing the front brakes in this car today. This is why I got to edit out some shit too, because I leave it recording while I'm doing other things. Yeah. Just, just starting to rub. And the inside's fine. So the rudders are good? No, well, this one looks good. Let's get over to the other side. Check that one. Got the car up on jack stands, got the wheels taken off already. Always get in here, do a little preliminary check of your bushings. Make sure your shock absorbers and struts are dry, aren't leaking. Steering rack boots good. No play in anything, no leaks, no cracks. Well, let's go ahead and pull this caliper off and get the new pads on there. And before pressing the caliper back, Make sure that your brake fluid reservoir isn't over full. Now using a C-press or C-clamp. Push your piston back a little bit just to get the caliper off. Always remember that when you're removing your caliper, grab something that you can hang your caliper Hang it up over the spring from above. Never want to let the thing hang freely. When you get the caliper bracket off, the caliper off, make sure that your slides go in and out nice and easily. There's no binding at all. If there's any issues at all, slide these boots back, clean them up, re-grease them, put them back in. Okay, we've got springs in the top of these pads. I don't want to lose those, you'll have to reuse those. Where's the brake pad box? Yeah, they did not include one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. They did not include those little metal clips, so you want to make sure that you retain these clips. Okay, got all four pads, two squealers, so we got two inboard, two outboard, and we got the four hardware clips. They're binding in there a little bit. Now note when you take the inboard brake, brake pad out, the squealer's on the inboard and it's always on the leading edge. The outboard does not have one. And this outboard, completely worn out. Got, uh, about two millimeters of pad on the inside, usually an indication of uneven wear due to the caliper bracket actually holding the ears of the brake pads. And you can see where there's a little bit of rust on here, probably where it was pinned in place. 
then go ahead and remove your caliper bracket. Leave the socket that's on the floor. And where's the breaker bar? Oh, you got the breaker bar, thank you. Steering wheel's locked. You want to go unlock the steering wheel for me? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, turn it all the way over towards me. All right. We'll go get the bolt. There's caliper bracket. Pop the hardware out of it. A little bit of rust underneath, there's some scaling right there. That's right there is what will cause your brakes. That scaling right there is what will cause your brakes to lock in place. So you grab your file and remove that scaling. In this case, it's just the inboard pad that's got all the scaling. We've already checked the rotors for warpage. There is no warpage on them, so we're not going to be removing them or replacing them. This is going to be a simple, basic cleanup and pad slap and get this over and done with nice and easily. side. Now we'll grab the new hardware. Make sure it's the same as the old hardware. Grab the grease. A little bit where the ears Set. And take your new hardware, snap your new hardware down in place. You have to fight with the hardware to get it in. It's either the not either not the correct hardware or there's still too much rust scaling on your caliper bracket. Once the uh, hardware is back in place, go ahead and put your caliper bracket back in. You find the bolt hole. Again, I like to wiggle everything to get it nice and snug in place. Go ahead and tighten down your caliper bracket bolts. Do it just the same way that Eric over at South Main Auto does it. There we go, torque the spec. There you go, torque the spec. Go ahead, take your inboard brake pad, slide that into place. Your outboard brake pad, slide that into place. 
They should move in and out nice and easily, which they do. And then your little clips, they go in the little holes up the top. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Once you've got both of these clips in place, if you let go of the brake pads, they're going to go flying on you. See, they go flying. Now, we need to push the piston back in the caliper. So again, grab the seat press. This is a single piston caliper, so we can just go right down in the middle of it. Easiest way that I found through experience, take an old brake pad, set an old brake pad in front of it. And start pushing it down in. Now, be actually, let me just back up a little bit. Before doing that, inspect your boot. Get any of the crud that's on the boot off of the boot. I'm gonna go grab some brake cleaner. Walmart brake cleaner. The brown can, I'd have to pick on Eric some more, but we'll leave him alone this time. And just spray all the junk off of it. And yes, I should be wearing gloves, but oh well. I don't do this every day. Again, you know, rub the crap off of it. Make sure there's no cuts or cracks. towels. What am I looking for? Dirty old rags. There's six rolls of it sitting on the floor of the car. Alright, now that we've got the piston boots all nice and clean, go ahead put the brake pad back in front of it. And push the piston all the way back. It's nice and slowly. Don't force it. If it starts to bind up, be expecting to buy a new caliper. As long as it goes back nice and evenly and smoothly, go slow. Watch for bubbles. You know, watch for the boot kind of developing a bubble in the side and pushing its way back out, meaning there's air trapped underneath it. Because if you don't catch that and you continue to push the brake pedal back or the brake pad back, you'll end up actually piercing and slicing that boot cover and you don't want to do that. So right here we're starting to get it to bubble out. See it coming out? So what you want to do is you want to pull on the boot just enough to pull it off the piston and let it back down. And then continue to press your piston the rest of the way in. Again, if you don't let the air out, you will slice your boot. Once it's bottomed all the way down, take your seat clamp off. Is it break? Yeah. Okay, where did the little clips go? <laughs> there's one, there's two. Try this again. Brake pads in place. Clips in the holes. Hold the brake pads in place. Untie your caliper. Get the caliper off the hook. Bring it. Oh. oh no. Yep. Like I said, these things can be tricky. Pick the clip back up, put it back in again.
Make sure you don't have a twist in your brake hose. And slide it over your brake pads. You may have to push your pins, caliper pins back in. Once you got it set in place, go ahead and put your caliper bolts back in. These are 12 millimeter bolts. The ones that held the bracket on were 17 millimeter. Everything moves nice and freely. Go ahead and torque those down. To spec. And the spec. We go ahead and put your wheel back on. That's how you do the brakes on the 2015 Honda Civic. So just remember, viewers, if you got a 2015 Honda Civic, you need to replace your front brakes. Pick up those wrenches. Got no more excuses.